Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back again to Canon Fodder TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes, another show, live show over here, somewhere across the universe, somewhere in North London. I'm not about to tell you the address. However, we've got some, I think it's a plethora of new segments that we're going to knock out the park inside 30 minutes. Some words for, from the wise one, Terry Henry. We've got some transfer news. We've got a particular player who wanted to come to Arsenal. He's also not happy. We've got Georgina talking about why he came over to Arsenal. Oh, it's going to be an interesting one. On the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeed. Welcome back again to Canon for the TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Doesn't make any difference at all. But welcome back, uh, followers, viewers, and subscribers across all platforms, and especially you to Canon for your TV. Yes, uh, if you kindly don't have to, just click the like button. That's all you have to do. We're not asking you to subscribe. Just click the like button. But what I am telling you must do to come into the live chat you can see it right here not my tv that's not my tv oh, on my right side is the live chat believe it or not come in there let me know your thoughts about the topic that we're going to be talking sorry the topic yeah plural the topics that we're going to be talking about and discussing inside 30 minutes yeah be here or be square anyhow yeah yeah let's let's get up and running this one the first one, uh, I'm not sure how you guys are going to be feeling about this one. Um, Thierry Henry, the wise one? Is he the wise one? I don't know. Anyway, Thierry Henry refuses to rule out Arsenal finishing outside the top four. Now, Henry has refused to rule out Arsenal finishing outside the Premier League at top four this season, despite their title battle with Man City. Uh, when it was uh, put uh, to him, it was uh, inevitable that Arsenal would be back in the Champions League. Uh, for a 22, sorry, 23, sorry, 22, 23 season campaign. Henri told CBS Sports, it's not in the game. We're not there. I know people will tell me, come on, Terry. No, 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 no. When and if we qualify, then we can talk about it. I'm also quizzed about how he felt uh, about Stan Kroenke. We spoke about that, you know, uh, yesterday's um, segment. But Henri is just saying, you know, look, when we are there, then we can talk about it. But we're not there yet. And you know what? He is right. The season's not over. We've still got 14 games to be played. 14 stroke 15 games. Still a long way to go. When we have arrived there, then we could talk about it. But we're not there yet. And Thierry Henry is correct. We're not there yet, people. Don't get so uppity about it. He is right. Have we won the Premier League? You know, is the season over? No. And no. Are we going to win the Premier League? Nobody knows, unless somebody's got a crystal ball. I haven't got a crystal ball. Couldn't tell you the future. But if you're going to ask me for my opinion, I don't believe Arsenal will win the Premier League. But we will secure Champions League football for the first time in a long time. And that's the truth, Ruth. Anyhow, right, the next new segment, I kind of run for it very quick. I don't want to be too controversial. That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Try not to be too controversial, upset some people. Anyhow, the next new segment is, is about this gentleman on the right. Georgina reveals reasons for Arsenal transfer from Chelsea, having previously been linked with uh, the return to Napoli. That's right, he played for Napoli, then Chelsea, then, then now Arsenal. Now, um, Georgina told uh, Dan's Sport, uh, it's one of the reasons, surely. He called me, uh, I think I know who he's talking about, and it was a very, it was all very uh, quick. We made a deal in less than 48 hours. I had spoken to Chelsea and I knew I was no longer part of their plans. I wanted to progress on my career and the Arsenal project suited me. Uh, it's a young team that plays good football and it fits my characteristics. I considered every scenario and made a decision. Sometimes you must accept when you are out of a project and the things uh, come to an end. So he's talking about literally his time at Chelsea. Uh, I think it's talking about uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Yeah, Grand Potter. We'll probably call him and say, you know what? I don't think you're in my plans. You're not in my plans, Jorginho. Sorry, mate. Is it okay? Fair enough. Where, 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 for the out, though, shall I go next? 
they came to Arsenal. And it just shows you, actually, what he's saying there, that we, we kind of were scruffling around to, to get a last sign-in. Georgina was no way our main target at the beginning of the transfer window. No way. Uh, uh, nah, nah. But anyway, he's with us. He kind of scored a wonder goal against um, Aston Villa. And, um, yeah, Jorginho, man. He never spoke about the money. Anyhow, the next new segment. There's always money somewhere to be had, isn't there? Always money. Uh, next one, a bit of breaking news, actually. Some some breaking news here for you. Unbeknownst to me, FA to investigate press box scuffle between Arsenal and Aston Villa analysts. The FA is investigating an altercation between the analysts of Arsenal uh, and Aston Villa during the Premier League game between <coughs> the two sides on Saturday. The incident apparently occurred in uh, Villa Park's uh, press office amid the celebrations of Arsenal's third goal, which made the score 3-2 uh, uh, in, in added time. Uh, Arsenal analyst uh, Mikel Molina and uh, Villa's uh, Victor Manas clashed following Emi Martinez's own goal. Ooh, sounds a bit tasty. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta was asked about the in incident after the game, saying, uh, like anything that happens uh, in the stands, we look at it, address it, and take action if necessary. The match, as we know, ended 4-2. That's 2-4. 2-4? 2-4. Uh, substitute Gabby Martinelli added a fourth for Arsenal deeper into added time. Villa had twice led in the, the contest through her first time. First time, first off goals from Ollie Watkins and uh, Felipe Coutinho. But also pegged them back on both occasions via uh, Bakaya Saka and Alexander Zinchenko's uh, wonder goals. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't know there was a altercation. It wouldn't surprise me because you literally, when you've got people celebrating in your face, you, you want to, like, get out of my face, man. Get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face, man. Get, get, get out. That's, I'm just saying that. I shouldn't laugh about that. But <clears throat> if Arsenal have been investigated by the FA, before I say it, I need to drink this. I repeat, if Arsenal have been investigated by the FA, you know what's going to happen. Next segment. <laughs> uh, right. Um, this is kind of coming up the last 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 10, 15 minutes. I wasn't aware of this actually. Uh yeah, um, this youngster is in jail, man. Modric Mahila, Mahila Modric. We'll buy him back. Shut to the next uh, chief says uh, Modric isn't happy after joining Chelsea over Arsenal. According to uh, Serna, Modric is not uh, in a good mood at Chelsea. And shut to the next sporting director has even joked that we will resign him once the war in Ukraine is over. But I tell you what, there is a video coming up uh, after me, uh, say in the next 50 minutes, giving my thoughts about this silliness with Modric, Mahaila, Mahaila, Modric, however you want to call him. Made a mistake, didn't he? He made a mistake. And I think he's paying for it now. Who was it who sent me the um, the video on um, the Canon 4 TV WhatsApp group? Somebody sent me a video of the players running out of the pitch. I mean, the body language was so negative. And it came to Mudrick, Mahila, Mahila, Mudrick. And the guy, you can see, he's not happy at being, being at Chelsea. Should have come to Arsenal. Should have come to Arsenal. Anyway, I think uh, these or those have been a new segments cut running. Uh, is that right? Yes, 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 it is. That's it. These are all the new segments cut running on Canafoy TV uh, on this Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday for me, bump day for you. So what we need to do now is go onto our Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments there thus far. If there has been, uh, I'm not about to read them. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, Okay so, okay, so there have been some retweets. People have like uh, linked me into the tweets. I don't know how you call it, about something else, but uh, no comments about anything we spoke about on the new segment over here. Right, now I think I can go onto the platform, YouTube platform, and actually see where do we lie now with the poll question that we put or I posed to each and every one of you. Yeah, I was asking you the question about yeah, have, have we missed the Thomas party? Have we missed Thomas party? For me, no. No, I haven't missed him. I'm not his biggest fan anyway, but anyhow, anyhow. So the question has been, have Arsenal missed Thomas party? Choose only one. It's a yes or a no. Don't complicate it, although you can put a comment there if you want to. We have received a massive 918 votes. Three comments, which tells me I've not responded to one comment there. And 37 likes. So again, the question is, have Arsenal missed Thomas Party? 
Well, 23% of those say actually no. You know where this one's going already, isn't it? And 77% of the votes say actually Arsenal have missed Thomas Party. When? Where? Why? Who? Whom? I'm being silly. I'm being silly. All right. So I believe I can go into the live chat now on this one. <coughs> it will be, sorry. Uh, okay. It will be. All right. Sorry. It will be a short show. Uh, I've got some things to do in the kitchen. But um, let's go into the live chat for the first time and see um, who has joined us. We've got our moderator, Ashley, who says, uh, hey, up, Gunas. And uh, Emerson, Emerson, uh, listen, I, I respond to your message. What I should have said, first and foremost, is that I hope you are feeling better. And we hope to see you on the East Talk uh, this Friday. I'll be sending out the topics um, once I finish here. So everyone who's been invited for the East Talk, this coming Friday, 7.30 p.m., we'll be receiving a list of, of topics that we're going to be talking about or hammering out on Friday on the Easy Talk. So bear with me, bear with me. Uh, Lynn, good evening. Uh, says, I do agree that we are overachieving this season. However, Alex, I do feel that we have enough on the pitch uh, that we can keep challenging for the title. And that is all we can do and try and stay there. I absolutely agree. It, you know, it is what it is. And again, Thierry Henry is spot on. You want to talk about that? We can't have a debate about that because we've not arrived at that point in time. That point in time will be a point in the future if we finish on top of the tree, the Premier League tree. We're not there yet, so we can't really have that debate yet. But you're right. With what we have and who we have, we can only try the best that we can with who we have and what we have. Maybe without Thomas Party for the next two games. Maybe. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. Ashley, good evening. Says, hello, Canon Fodder. Hope you're well, uh, Ashley. Keep him well. Um, badly advised by his agents. Well, the thing is, badly advised, I don't like to critique because I'm, I'm a dinosaur, man. I am a dinosaur, and I know it. I can feel it. How I feel about modern, I don't want to say modern day footballers, because not all of them are like this. But you run into your social media account, whether it's Instagram or TikTok, top tick, and you're saying you want to come to Arsenal. Keep that to yourself, man. Keep it to yourself. You know, just just remember the days of CFAX. Oh, I miss those days of CFAX, man. Uh, the, 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 the hunger for news, instant news, not, not yesterday, they want it now. But still, let me go to my Instagram account. You know, I've got like maybe 500,000 or a million followers. I'm telling them I want Arsenal. Yeah, I want to come to Arsenal. What happens? I'm not coming to Arsenal. It's about money, ambition, and more money. That's all it's about. And what, what's happening? You can see a player who is not happy. Not happy. Not happy at all. So what's going to happen? I'm, literally, I know in, in the, the video that I've done about, you know, uh, Mihaila Mudrik. Serna says something about him, and I've given my opinion about Mihaila Mudrik at the end of the video. But the player is not happy. And you're right, it was advised. I don't even think he was advised. I think he was probably told, this is how much money we're going to get. You're going in this direction. Because that other direction is not paying the money that we want. How old is he? Age 21? I'm thinking, age 21? What was I thinking when I was eight? Well, what was I thinking? I just had my first child, well, not me, but my partner at the time, my son, age 21. And look, this guy's an instant millionaire already before he even come to Arsenal. But modern day footballers, man, just keep your mouth quiet and just do the business on the pitch. I don't want to hear about this, that, and the other. I don't want to hear about it, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> Goodness. I told you I'm a dinosaur. I'm an absolute dinosaur. Poor old Liverpool, but uh, did you know uh, Arsenal are the only side besides Real Madrid to score five goals away at Liverpool this century, with the Gunners achieving a defeat twice? That's it. Carl! 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 Where are you, Carl? Carl's our, our resident Liverpool um, follower. He's gone missing, hasn't he? I couldn't believe it. Was it 5 2? 
you were leading two now in the first leg, and you shipped in all those goals, man. Wow. God damn me. Anyway, Pesci, good uh, good afternoon to you as well, my friend. I hope you keep on well. Uh, I'm late from a work, man. Uh, why no Champions League next year? What what? <coughs> This is on the premise or on the back of what Thierry Henry said. I will be reviewing the new segments in the, in the shortest form. I've got maybe another 10 more minutes before I, sh I shut down and close off this show. I did say I want to knock the show out inside 25 minutes, but we're not there yet. We're not, not there yet. But I will be re reviewing the news of today. Just give me a few more minutes. A static, uh, static, my friend, my brother, my brother, my friend. I hope you're well. It says, hey, Alex, and hey to you. Four likes. Oh, likes, uh, sister, what's going on? Do they all, you know, we don't push the message now about subscribe. I would prefer people just hit the like button. That's all you have to do. Just touch, gently touch the like button and the world could be your oyster. Yeah. That's all you've got to do. Oh, um, yeah. Am I, am I overly surprised about the poll um, numbers? Again, the question has been, have Arsenal missed a Thomas party? Have you missed Thomas Party? Yeah, Thomas Party, I miss him. I, I want to hold him. Not, not me. I, I, I haven't missed a Thomas Party. I haven't missed him. But am I surprised at the numbers? No, not, not really. Not really. Because I think you see something that I don't see. And I see something about Thomas Party that you don't see. But anyway, yeah, 922 votes now, three comments still, and 37 uh, likes. Uh, have Arsenal missed Thomas Party? We're 23% still. Are saying no, and 77 are saying yes. 77% have said yes, and I'm on uh, the 23%er side. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, anything there? All oh, right. Okay. No, no, there's nothing there. Okay. So let me let me re review the news of today from Canon 14's perspective in its quickest and shortest format possible. <laughs> right, so let me remove this, beg your pardon. So uh, Thierry Henry refuses to rule out Arsenal finishing outside the top four. Thierry Henry has refused to rule out Arsenal finishing outside the top four in the Premier League uh, for this season, despite their title battle uh, with Man City. When it was put to him uh, that uh, it was inevitable that Arsenal would be back in the Champions League for the uh, 2023 short 24 campaign only told cbs sports is not in the game we're not there i know people would uh would tell me come on thierry no 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 when and if we qualify then we can talk about it yeah you see you say that we're not there yet are we there yet are we there yet we're not there yet we are not there yet by a long way so hold your breeches hold your horses we, we can't have that, that discussion yet Ah, uh, nah, nah. Well, I'm not going to have it anyway. Just have it on your own. The next new segment, we spoke about Jorginho. Yeah, Jorginho reveal, re reveals reasons uh, for Arsenal transfer from Chelsea, having previously been linked with a return to Napoli. Uh, Jorginho told um, uh, Dan Sport, um, it was one of the reasons, um, surely, he called me, I think it's um, uh, Harry Potter, Graham Potter. Uh, he called me, and it was a very all well quick. We made a deal in less than 48 hours. I had spoken to Chelsea, and I knew I was no longer part of their plans. I wanted to progress in my career, and Arsenal project suits me. Hey, we'll stay in London. Uh, it's a young team that plays good football and uh, fits my characteristics. I considered every scenario and made a decision. Sometimes you must accept when you are out of a project, and that brings uh, some things to an end. I was thinking, yeah, that's right. You know, all walks of life, you know, we all face um, uh, uphill struggles. And um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's just that some people are paid a lot more money than, than, than most. Anyhow, uh, the next, and uh, you said, it's kind of breaking news. Unbeknownst to me, the FA to investigate press office scuff, uh, scuffle between Arsenal and Aston Villa analysts. Yes, uh, the incident occurred in Villa Park a press a box amid the celebrations of Arsenal's third goal, which made the score 3-2 in added time. Arsenal analyst Miguel Molina and uh, Villa's uh, Victor Manas clash following Emmy Martinez's own goal, on me, son. Yes, Arsenal manager Mikel Teto was asked about the incident after the game, saying, like anything that happens in the stands, we look at it, address it, and take action if necessary. Yeah, yeah. Leave, it, leave it right there. We'll leave it right there. And the last new segment is in regards to this poor chap over here 
who's in the Chelsea prison. Uh, we'll buy him back, shut to the Nets, uh, boss says, and Modric isn't happy after joining Chelsea over Arsenal. According to Cerner, Modric is not in a good mood at Chelsea, and Shakhtar's uh, sports director has even joked that he'll re-sign Modric after the war in Ukraine is over. So, that or these have been the new segments currently running on Canopy TV on its Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday evening show, Wednesday, bump day, bump day. Right, go through these last comments before I wrap this one up. I've got uh, four minutes. I've got four minutes. Four minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, Lynn says, uh, Alex, with Modric, he's president of the club, came out and said that Arsenal were prepared to pay the same fee. But from what I understood from Shakhtar uh, Boli, uh, was prepared an, uh, an extra 22 million Ukraine war. All about the money, isn't it? What about the money? Hence, that is the reason Modric uh, is at Chelsea and not happy. Not happy. Pesci says, uh, <laughs> yo, Liverpool were hammer yesterday, I think, but a uh, clock project is coming to an end now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nino, Nino, uh, 1983, uh, if that happens, Arteta and Edu need to be sacked. Yeah, but we've had that debate. We've had that debate. Did, I mean, did you did you know Arsenal were going to be top of the league in February? Did you know that? I didn't know that. So if we do not win the Premier League, no one would have would have thought we, we could have been anywhere near the top. Secondly, we will probably still secure Champions League football. But you can't tell me that you knew Arsenal were going to be top of the league, you know, towards the end of February. No, 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 no. You you didn't know that, bro, man. You, I didn't know that. Why does Edu and Arteta need to be sacked? It isn't easy to win <coughs> the Premier League. Uh, look how difficult it is for Pep to win the Champions League with all the money they have spent on, uh, on quality players. All right, if we finish outside the top four, then, then the, yeah. The thing is, this is the way I see it. We, we're, we're not there yet. I would not won the Premier League and we're not outside top four. Then... I think if we do finish outside top four, then we can have that debate whether you're just saying here whether he needs to be sacked or not, or whether they need to be sacked or not. That's a debate that I've had over the last, I think, almost two seasons. If he does not secure Champions League, is there a discussion to be had about Arteta's position? Does it become un, you know untenable? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, where are we? Where are we? Right, let me look in Twitter again before I wrap up this one. Any any comments? Any order in? Any order in? Oh my goodness! People are having a, a discussion about about something not related to me going live. How disgusting! Absolutely disgusting! You guys don't want to talk about me going live. Talking about no, no Champions League football. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> I'm joking. All right. Uh, a few more. Oops. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no one uh, knew Arsenal would be leading the league. Nah, I, I, I think even if I had a crystal ball, I still want to believe it. Crystal ball, tell me the future. Oh, Alex, Arsenal are going to be top of the Premier League come February. So what? <laughs> I won't believe it. I had to see it first for me to believe it. And now I'm seeing it, I believe it. But we're not there yet. At the top end of the league, end of, sorry, end of the season, we're not there yet. Thierry Henry is right. We can only have the debate when it happens, if it happens. It hasn't happened yet, so we can't have the debate. <laughs> I've got headache, man. I've got headache. Yes, Glenn Wynn. Guna matters. I'll tell you what. I don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, yeah. Monday, Monday lunch times, man. Guna matters. What a segment you did. And I kind of got the impression that you was a little bit overwhelmed. Because I saw the chat. The chat was just like, it, it almost caught fire. There's so many comments. And I thought, oh, look at, look at Guna matters. He's looking look a little bit overwhelmed, man. And it was nice of you to do that. We don't pay, we can't pay our uh, contributors. You do it of the, uh, you know, at the, the kind of your own heart. 
and you did it during your lunch break. I was thinking, oh my goodness. But that segment, lunch, midday, or, excuse me, on a Monday. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> gently touch the like button and share. Touch it gently and share. Actually, in BSL, British Sign Language, share is, no, that's help, help me. I can't remember, what's the sign for share? I can't remember. But anyway, share, share and share alike. Share, is that it? I can't remember. Anyhow, uh, in fact, oh, Richard, Richard, I hope you're, oh my, what's going on? I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're, you're getting better, you know. Uh, uh, in fact, I'd say top three is the least we will get this season uh, from this point. I tend to agree with you. I mean, Arsenal would have to capitulate completely, not secure top four. And then it would put Arteta and Edu in, in the spotlight. It would. But I, I tend to agree with you, maybe. Yeah. But win the Premier League? I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm better for Thursdays. Thanks, Alex. Good, good. Well, I think I think the first lady of Canon Point TV has got two guests. Or is it three guests? Well, anyway, anyway, Thursday Night Football tomorrow. You guys, you're, you're spot for content now on Canon Point TV. A segment on Monday. You got me coming live on a Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday Night Football. Friday, the easy talk. Saturday, God knows. Sunday, the big Sunday show. My goodness. Sport for choice. Sport for choice. Anyhow, anyhow. Uh, with uh, 600 million uh, on the pitch at Chelsea and they can't win a game, then I would want in the manager sacked. However, Arsenal are where they are by hard work and a lot less money spent. Uh, and I feel uh, Arteta, yeah, you just think about it. But the thing is, Lynn, it also goes to show that you cannot win, you cannot buy success. You can't buy success. Because if that were true, Chelsea would be the right side of the, of the Premier League table. It just shows that your money does not buy you success. It buys you a whole load of trouble. <laughs> and those players at Chelsea, oh my goodness. Do you know what? Jorginho jumped ship, came to Arsenal, his saviour. He's not the saviour. You know, Arsenal is his saviour. But those players at Chelsea, wow. My goodness. Okay, a couple more minutes and then we are done on this one. Uh, as we could, uh, could we just give a shout out uh, to Stadic if you didn't uh, do it yet? I did, I did, because he came in and I received the message. Oh, yeah, Stadic, I've heard some sad news about, again, I can't tell you, but I, I, I don't even know if I've got your, your number, Stadic. Yeah, uh, uh, Melina, Miss Melina has, has communicated to DWTT about some sad news. Um, yeah, uh, I think you, you kind of pass on a message. To anyway, anyway, yeah, uh, we put some message in our Canon Forty Two WhatsApp group. The sad, sad news. I tell you what, man, you just don't know. Tomorrow is not guaranteed, man. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You've only got today. Do the best you can do with what you have, with the time that you have, because tomorrow is not guaranteed. There, by the grace of God, go I. Yeah, I still got my mom with me. You know, my dad passed away many years ago. But you don't know what what is there for tomorrow. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. All right. Um, uh, we have a, a, a short uh, a title. Oh, what happened there? Uh, uh, let's enjoy the, the ride and see where, where we end up. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I think Terry Rooney was absolutely spot on with the comments. Well, 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 we're, we're not there yet. We haven't arrived yet. If we do arrive, then we can have the discussion. But we're not there yet. 14 stroke 15 games to go still. There's a lots of twists and turns. I don't know. There might be, um, how can I say it? What's the one I'm looking for? There's still time to make uh, uh, someone, the, the full guy. You know what I'm talking about? Mistakes happen. We'd like to make a picture person or player the full guy for the error and the mistake. 15 games to go. Uh, well, if you could uh, buy success, Chelsea could buy a win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, 
dear. I think Glenn, was it you who posted the video of the players going out and running out of the pitch? The Chelsea players. Oh my goodness. Ah, terrible body language, man. Do you know what I would do? I'll say, you know what, lads? We're going to play the under-21s. A lot of you don't deserve to be run out of the pitch. All that money spent, and you guys are acting like you own the club. You don't own the club. You are employees of the club. And you must perform. Got to perform. Otherwise, you, you're going to sit sit out the next game, man. Sit it out. We're just bringing the under-21s, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, take um, every day at a time uh, and live for the moment. Absolutely. Eddie? What? What's wrong with it? Leave Eddie alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. Uh, yes, it was uh, their body language. Oh, my goodness. Terrible body language, man. God, my goodness. At the bridge. That bridge needs um, shaking up, man. Anyhow, do you know what? Um, we, we have come to an end, unfortunately, on this one. Um, this... <laughs> I always feel like, you know, as I'm getting my momentum now, we've got to end the show, but it's just the way it is. Well, that my, my, my mentor always should tell me, you know, when you're presenting something, you know, get, you know, you want your audience to have an invested interest in what you have to say, because they want to know, who are you? Who are you? Why are you here? And what's in it, what's in it for us? But always leave the audience wanting more. Don't bore your audience to death. It's going on and on, you know, about, about the same old stuff or some stuff they're not interested in. Always leave the audience wanting more. Until next time. All oh, right, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not the scapegoat. Ah, yeah. Nah, he's not the full guy, man. No, no, no. Ah, no. I'm not going to have that debate about Eddie and Ketcher. He's not the full guy. Doing a good job. A good job. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that uh, Man City isn't the team they were last season, and there is things going on behind the scenes uh, with the players, etc., which doesn't help. Going on behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, man. Just open up the scenes, and you can see what's going on there. The football fair play rules. Football fair play rules. They, they've been, yeah, they've been investigated. Yeah, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. In front of the scenes. You know what? Uh, we, we're finished. We're finishing this one. Uh, there we go. Let's change that up there. Uh, Gunduan. What happened to Gunduan? What happened? What happened to Gunduan? <laughs> what happened to him? Anyhow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it was it was an enjoyable one. I did say it's going to be a short one. And by my Richter scale, whatever, my, 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 my ruler... Well, my timer we're, we're spot on 32 minutes 33 minutes i don't like to chop on the bits more than an hour now back in the day yeah but not now not now anyhow uh we are finished on this one and thank you so very much again tomorrow make sure you check in for thursday night football it's going to be hosted by Ange, the first day of canafoy tv and two guests special guests oh i can't wait for that one i can't wait why? Because this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Glenn Wynn.